I want to say I apologize for not making a video in the last month or so. The schedule has been crazy. It's still crazy. You want to know why it's crazy? Because now we have people, but we have no hours. So it's a lot of shifting around. The only days that I solidly have are Saturdays. So Saturday morning live streams are still going to be a thing. And this Saturday morning live stream, I have a very special guest, someone who has not been on for a very long time. And we are very pleased to welcome this person back. I hope you will be there. Also, we will be talking about all kinds of things. We'll be kind of talking about our, uh, our year in review. We'll be talking about just, you know, whatever comes up. It's going to be a big shoot the breeze kind of thing. So I hope to see you there. Uh, second, I'm going to do something on this channel that I've never done before. Um, I'm sure that you have seen that there is a new deck in our midst. It just arrived. And I just uh, did the... I just popped it in the altar shelf, which seems to work pretty well towards cleansing and purifying and uh, getting that vibe that we we all love, and it was this deck right here. So we are going deep into the night tonight, or today. Today, sorry. I don't have my words. But we're going deep into the night. We are going to be exploring something, again, never before done on this channel. And it, rather than giving you, what does your week look like? What does your day look like? We're going to look at your year. We're going to start off your year. And if anyone wonders, my New Year's resolution is going to be 720p because it, uh, it makes it much easier for you to uh, stream and download from various sources. And it keeps the file size down. So, I say we ought to get to it and see what's happening naturally. This is going to be a full reading. If you would like a full reading, drop down into the link tree down below and throw something, throw me something off of the um, off the uh, old Amazon wish list there, and we'll go ahead and we'll get you some readings. Again, I'm not raising anything except how many readings you get. So anything thirty five and thirty five dollars and under. Uh, that's that's MSRP, not what you actually spent, right? I'm going to give you seven readings and a birthday reading for a total of eight. And anything over that, you'll be getting a total of ten readings. And you can use them at any time. You can give them away. You can, uh, you know, surprise a friend for their birthday and say, Hey, guess what? I got your reading. And that will be their birthday reading. And it's kind of a, just a little nice thing to do all around. It's a little bit of a gift exchange. You give me something, I give you something back. And that's how it works. Rather than monetize, this is the way I've chosen to do it. Because that's between us. But anyway, I do have... This is the problem with this cloth. I love this, I love this uh, tarot cloth, by the way. But my only problem is uh, the folds. <laughs> they, don't seem to, they don't seem to flatten very well. And I don't really want to iron this thing, so... Uh, but I do have the Viking Oracle. I have the Spirit Animal Oracle, naturally. We've got a Murder of uh, Crow's Tarot here. We will also have Wisdom of the Night Oracle. Where we will be consulting Goddess of the Night Nyx. We're going to venture deep into the dark tonight. Very deep. Because... For some of us, it's been a very dark year. And for others, for others it's been great. But for some of us, it's been a very dark year. But the thing is, it's always darkest right before the dawn. So, I want to bring us to that dawn, that Dagoz moment. And let us see exactly what we need to know to make this a successful, better year ahead for you, me, and everyone else. This is just sort of that, I don't know who needs to hear this, but because your agency is not taken away by the cards, if anything, these are guidance for you. So, you can choose to listen to them, you can choose to ignore them, you can choose to do anything you want. I'm just here to give you the information and make up your own damn mind what you do with it. So, let's get right down to it. For this year, what do we need to know? In order to make this a successful year for us, it's very, very interesting times ahead, is it not? Let's start with a significator. Who are we this year? What are we doing to bring people together? 
I'm going to tell you this right now. There are some people that just won't come to the table. I'm encountering them this morning. Some people just will not join you because you are a certain way. You voted for a certain person. You read this book. You listen to this music by this person, this artist, of whom we do not approve. There's nothing you can do for them, ladies and gentlemen. They are there to prop up the illusion. They're there to gaslight you. And I, I'm going to say this. Anytime someone tries to gaslight you, tell them this is not the 19th century. It's the 21st, and we don't use gaslight anymore. Give them that little technological reference. Anyone and everyone else who is willing to put aside the differences to see the similarities... and to love something more than they hate something else. Those are the people you should be looking for. The rest, leave them out in the cold. Especially when it comes to any goals that you set forward, any goals you set forward, you should have like-minded people on board. You should have people who see your goal and want to make it better. A rising tide does truly raise all ships. And th that is what you should be seeking. Look for that common water there. The actions you should be taking. Frithgeard. Isn't it interesting being a bit of a peacemaker somewhere? Again, there's nothing you can do about people who simply won't do it. There, there are idiotic, hateful, stupid, and imperceptive people out there. And all they want to do is hate on something more than they love anything else. Let them hate. Let them do that. Because as of this year, it is my singular opinion based on the two cards that have come up, I see them destroying themselves completely, totally, utterly, and without any mercy. They will do it to themselves. You will not have to do it for them. But keep presenting your facts. Keep presenting what you love. Keep doing that thing that lights you up. Because this year is your year. And if someone wants to call you a loser, better to lose on your terms than to be destroyed on theirs and have it be called a win. That's gaslighting. And again, we don't use that in this time. Your spirit animal for the year should be the cow because... All miracles are endless. This is your year to perform those miracles. If there's a project you abandoned, it's time to get back to it. If there was something that you were uh, sort of chased off of, it's time to just step back into it and tell those people, no, you don't own this. It's time for you to step back into your power I know this is coming across as a little intense, but remember, this is for the year. This is important. We're only on the third day of this year, 2024. And now, we have, to, we have to understand that going forward, we can't just rest on past successes. We can't rest on uh, what worked before. Sometimes what worked before will work again. But you may have to do some, you may have to do a little adapting. You adapt, you overcome, you improvise. That is how it's done. Sometimes it's just bullheaded shoving forward whether anyone likes it or not. Whether you keep taking punches or not, it's just moving forward. Don't let them beat you to your knees. In the mind, we have, we have some reversals here. I've got the star in reverse for the mind. I told you we were going to be venturing into some very dark territory, and this is a result of your fears, the very things that are keeping you paralyzed right now. Because when the star is in reverse, that's not exactly great news there, especially in the mind, and your mind of everything. That's what, you, that's what you need to keep moving forward. But 
right now. You don't see a return to hope. You don't have you don't have any clear energy. What you're looking at with that star in reverse is that you need to gain that somehow. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Sawulo pop up in the runes, which, by the way, I do need to lay those out as well because I am going to be using those. I laid down two oracles. I didn't lay out, lay down any runes. My bad. I do have a deck right here. Uh, actually, you know what? I've got some right here that I can use, and I think these will do. These are not my big ones. These are the green adventuring ones. Nope, these are the tiger eye ones. Ooh, goody, goody, goody. So, got some runes right here. We will be plucking those. But, right now there's a, there's a loss of, of a sense of hope. This is where we've come out on the other side of 2023. 20, We're exhausted. We're mentally, emotionally, spiritually just wiped right and when we're that wiped what what can we do well we can go we can go and uh find ourselves a little something something that'll help us right because let me tell you if we don't we could be screwing ourselves up pretty badly because here's the thing about that that next card is the seven of pentacles it's right here. And we need to marshal our resources. See, the, care, the careless just fly forth risking everything. But we need to be a little more patient and wise. And know that the secrets will unfold in time. I actually talked about this last night with the Weaving Spiders on their telegram. And I said uh, that we were talking about Issa last night. I mentioned that the rune Issa, Ice is one that in presents us with a unique opportunity. Look around. Whenever you're in a checkout line, look at how many people are just ready and willing to turn themselves into shoplifters, unwittingly, mind you. They've got all their stuff up there. They've got it all back. Oh, my goodness, swipe, 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 and they're ready to just run. They won't even wait for the payment to clear. You'll see it. Some people are just like, a breath away from that. They're this close to it and they don't care until you call them back. It's like, hey, this is kind of a process, you know, let's let that process take its place. And then we got we got this little uh we got a knight of wands here in reverse. Are we being a little irresponsible right now? Kind of squandering our creativity just a touch. Because I can tell you right now, looking at it, mm, we're not holding ourselves to a higher standard, that's for sure. The thing is, each new thing we uh, behold usually compels us further into our quest, but we tend to just kind of, we're kind of laying back on that focus, aren't we? Oh, new thing. And we're just going to spend time with that new thing. But we'll never really move forward. But it is cautionary. And it's, in a lot of cases, very good. It really speaks to the patience that we need right now. But that patience also comes with, uh, why, are, why am I not getting results? So, for example, if your goal this, this year is to lose some weight, that's what you're going to run into. But it's a process. And that's the thing that you have to remember here in the mind. It is a process. This does not take place overnight. Let me tell you a little something. Before you know it, we'll be in June. Before you know it, we'll be in September. Before you know it, we'll be back in November and December. And we'll be doing that holiday thing all over again. The stress is just going to go up from there. Okay? So remember that. Remember that this is a process and this is how it takes time. Right now, we are trying to bring people together. We're trying to bring those miracles to, to fruition. That is going to take time. Don't be so rough on yourself. Physically speaking, I've got a Wheel of Fortune. I have... That looks like death. I got death in reverse. 
and I've got a three of cups in reverse. Now this could look a little strange because again, this is the point. At some point in the year, you will experience a reversal of fortune. This being upright means it's going to be for the better. It's going to be good. It's going to be good for you. A lot of horoscopes lately have been saying, hey, everything that you have ever wanted is going to be happening this year, but it still doesn't take away your agency. You still have to make that happen for yourself, but you still have to be patient. You still have to wait for that to come. Let me tell you something, folks. A lot of, this, a lot of these divisive movements are going to peter out by next year. All right. That whole illusion is going to crumble. The, that movement's going to be over. You really don't have to do a lot for that. You just have to take care of yourself in the meantime. Get what I mean? So take care of yourselves and each other. Now, next we have death in reverse. So you're not ready to reach an end here. You don't have an end point in mind. With that being the central card... It's important to understand process. You have a beginning, you have the process that takes place, and then you have an end. I would not be I would not uh, be surprised to see Isa and Raito in the rooms today. And it's really going to seem like there's just not a lot to celebrate. Hey, it's not going to be a party right now. It's work. You're going to have to put that in. So the party comes later. That comes after that ending. But right now, it's time to work on your process. So, we've got, we've got the High Priestess in the Spiritual. We've got the Fool in... Uh, the High Priestess and the Fool are in reverse. And then we've got a Seven of Wands. So, that High Priestess in reverse, this is not time to quite do your own thing just yet. Okay. Now's a good time for some guidance. It's not time to start a new project. Your, your own project right now. Remember, those new projects are going to come. You're going to get a lot of offers. Remember, finish what you started. That's going to be the key thing for this year. Finish what you start. If you abandon this project, everything about it falls apart. And at some point, you are going to have to look at it and go, uh... Is this really what I'm working for? And you're going to have to remember to have a little patience. Give it some time. Okay. Let's go with Wisdom of the House of Night here and see what that first card is. And we do have understanding right there in that mental space. Speaking to the thing in Frith Geard and the miracles, understanding. There will have to be mutual understanding at that table. Whatever that table looks like, whatever it is, people will have to sit down and understand where the other person is coming from. This is not a time to be dismissive. It's not a time to be arrogant. It's not a time for gotchas because that doesn't help. Case in point, I saw a video where a woman who was very pro-Second Amendment, as I am, um, pointed a... Uh, uh, out that she thought red flag laws were a good thing because she didn't want people who smoked weed owning guns. And the thought occurred to me because the professor in this in this uh, college course did not bring this up. The professor then said, well, wait a minute, hold on. Many of the uh, people who are against private gun ownership you would say that they have fears, correct? What, what do you fear about people who use uh, cannabis? Maybe we, can, maybe we can eliminate some of these fears. Perhaps we can... Our, our whole purpose behind this discussion is to get rid of the fear and foster an understanding. That's what you're going to have to do is foster an understanding. Now, personally... I'm a big proponent of the Second Amendment and private cannabis use. Hey, look, if you if you say that you don't want people owning guns when they smoke weed, I'm gonna I'm gonna argue people who drink alcohol shouldn't either. I've known plenty of violent alcoholics. I've never known a violent pothead. Not a day in my life. 
And while we're on the subject, what what other substances should we um, regular that we regularly use in in daily life now? What other little vices should we get rid of? How about coffee drinkers? Because coffee drinkers are hyperactive and they tend to shake. You never know; they may miss. People who use energy drinks, maybe them. Do you see where the slippery slope is, ladies and gentlemen? And if I nailed one of your groups, you see exactly what I mean. Not a got you. It's not that at all. It's about understanding. You know the facts on your on your use of energy drinks or coffee or tea or or weed or cigarettes or alcohol. You know. I know too. But I'm bringing that up to show you that unless we foster mutual understanding, we really don't have hope. And maybe that's what's killing us right now, as we think that that's not out there. In the physical, though, very physical world, this is going to require a bit of risk. It's interesting that risk comes up when the full card is in reverse. Risk comes with compromise. But compromise means that this stone and this stone have to meet right here, dead center. Because if they do not, then neither has given up anything and neither has gained anything, and they stay right there. All right, let's get to this last card here. We also have meditation. Boy, oh boy, have I not been talking about this. Remember when I talked about Issa? Issa provides us an opportunity to just stop. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not built to go, 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 go. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Go, 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 go all the time. We need moments away from it all. We need to be able to escape the daily grind. And that comes with sitting for at least five to ten minutes, turn everything off, let only the ticking of the clock be the only sound in the room, breathe in through the nose for five seconds, use your fitness tracker or your smartwatch, everybody's got one, and then out through the mouth for five seconds. Just keep doing that. Guess what? Your blood pressure will lower. It's true. Some of us need it, let's face it, all right? In terms of the monology cards, I'm just going to flip them all over one after one, is telling us, holy smokes, here we go. First one, release control. You do not have to have control over everything. Remember, in a process, you only control certain elements. You do not control the whole lot. And when you do not control everything, that is not necessarily a terrible thing. Stop trying to micromanage your life. All right. We got this uh, first quarter moon. We got a lot of first quarter moons today. First quarter moon in Sagittarius, which is believe in your good luck. Okay. Sometimes it is better to be lucky than good. Sometimes you can let that come to you, but it only comes to you if you release control. If you don't release the control, it's going to sit there and just keep on you know, doing whatever it is you want to do. And the funny thing about Issa, that ice rune, is it tells us to stop. Otherwise, the gods will make you stop. The universe will make you stop. God will smack the shit out of you. Look at all those people who are just go, go, go all the time, all the time, all the time. They just can't stop. And then one day, health problems. Slow them down or stop them altogether. And then all that they've amassed has to go to fixing that. And here's the thing, honor your feelings. Definitely honor your feelings. Your feelings matter in this one. I know I usually say facts over feelings here, and that's true. However, in your meditations you can absolutely do that. And isn't it interesting how risk, believe in your good luck, understanding, release that control, meditation, honor your feelings. I mean, doesn't really get much uh, better than that, does it? First rune, Kanaz. So again, what is, what is Kanaz? What did we talk? We talked about Kanaz before. Kanaz is about light. It's about torches. It's about beacons. You have to be that. If you cannot lead by example, 
it doesn't matter how many times you lecture someone else, including me, we'll go in the opposite direction. And if you start out with a label on someone, huh, yeah, not going to go your way, trust me. Sawulo, revitalizing spiritual energy. Remember when I said, when you're feeling that beat down, when you're not, when you're feeling depleted, it's time to go to that spiritual place. It's time to meditate. And then finally, well, we didn't get Raiho or uh, Isa, but we did get Tivaz. Tivaz pointing right back at the thing in Frithgird because yesterday was Tears Day, Tuesday, whatever you want to call it. Today is the day of Odin himself. And guess what? You may not get everything you want, but you will get exactly what you need. And that's called momentum, ladies and gentlemen. And you can parlay that into the next year. And I hope that this reading has clarified some things for you about your goals, about your life, and about how things will actually progress. But I want to caution you, it's time to let go of this Amazon Prime, you know, I'm going to get it next day, or oh, it's going to be delivered to my door tonight kind of a, kind of a mentality. Because in 2024, a lack of patience will not help you. A lack of trust in the process will not help you. Your goals will be relegated to, again, a list of things you never achieved. And you're better than that. I know you are. You want to know how I know you are? Because you're still here, rocking with me, after I didn't make a video for over a month. That's why. Sure, there were live streams, but I didn't do one of these for you. And I thank you for understanding. I thank you for still being here. And I want you to remember something. I love you all. I want you to take care of yourselves and each other. Remember that this is a process. But in the end, you'll do what you always do. That which lights you up and shine on. Happy New Year.